okay yes friends so any questions pending from the last class faisal i see your hand is up so can i ask yes Uh, so I have a doubt uh, in the capacitance of the MOSFET capacitors. Uh, so when we were talking about gate to body capacitance and <coughs> the source and the drain capacitances, uh, gate to body capacitance vanishes after VT, and the other capacitance started rising before VT. Like why is that so? Because I think they should the, the gate to body vanishes at VT and. <coughs> and simon uh, simultaneously the other one should rise so faisal is saying magic should happen magic should happen <laughs> and there should be a discontinuity ha huh? at once it should go from 0 to c uh, huh. c ox and uh, and the other capacitor should at once fall hmm? no uh, faisal magic doesn't happen so while we say that 2 phi s is the so, point so, of inversion so, so, yeah i am telling you so while we say that 2 phi s is the time point of inversion where you have an inversion layer formed it does not mean that there are no charges in that region before that so some charges do start to appear because of band bending see as soon as band bending crosses the ei level yes sir uh, there are there is some extra infusion of charges in the at the surface okay so uh, given that Uh, because now some charge some little charge change can happen at the surface level also hmm? okay so we start to see that there is uh, there is this source and drain capacitance that starts to appear okay before we did that is why it was appearing yes. before we did okay yes okay okay sir so uh, gagandeep you had a question uh, yes sir So, sir, in the last class we were saying on the layout, if I want to decrease the contact to poly uh, capacitance, I will, uh, I will make my contact little bit away from the poly. I can do that. But sir, there is a minimum DRC for OD also that it has to be covered uh, by minimum of the uh, out outside the contact. I have to have some OD. So basically, I have to shift the OD also. Now, when I shift the OD. the diffusion increases and the diffusion capacitance comes into picture so sir is there a trade off or we cannot really do it that <laughs> so i am so happy gagandi that you arrived at this uh, this conclusion yourself because uh, that is what i want you guys to do see i will tell you something but if you do not experiment it you will not learn so i'm so happy that you did it and you are now coming back with this question which is very relevant for all of us others did not ask but it is not good other should also have asked so uh okay see what can let us aaj hame anyway karna hai so uh, let let me start with the layout part first okay so give me a minute i will i will share with you how layouts are made and and aapko uh, pata hai you have made those layouts but we will just have a look at that just give me a minute So I have one more uh, thing to ask. So can I like it is not related to the question? Yes, rather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when we were saying diffusion uh, region has higher resistance, and we should not uh, use uh, diffusion region, uh, and we should use uh, wire, uh, uh, the other metal uh, metal layer to connect. Like the you give the example of inverters. So if the metal layer is busy, so then in that case, what should we do? You can use poly. Poly has lower resistance than diffusion. Even if the resistance is as much, uh, the fact is that poly has lesser capacitance. Okay. Diffusion also has very high capacitance. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, friends, we are uh, even though there are not uh, like many people are still missing from the class, but uh, we are starting with the layout part, which uh, you may have already seen and. uh which you may have already seen in the uh tutorials that were already shared with you and uh uh and therefore you are already working on your assignment uh, uh but it is important to take care of a few things it is important to take care of a few things uh so that we can uh, make good layouts in line with what we were discussing you know less capacitance and uh, and all that hmm? so uh let me just give you a quick 
uh, hands-on, run on uh, what things you can take care of when you're making layouts. So let us say, let me make just these four layers for now. So in your layer map table, you have green color for active region or some other color? Active only. Active. So let us say this is the active for NMOS or PMOS. And this is the active for NMOS. Can we say this? Yes, sir. Hmm? And because this is PMOS, so we will say there is a well around it. Is that okay? So now let us say we have to make the functionality of uh, A and B. So what is the circuit? Two series and MOS and two parallel Something like this. A and let us say B. Are you able to see this? Are you with me on this part? Yes, sir. Hmm? So what we are saying is that there are two NMOSs and two PMOSs. PMOSs are in parallel, NMOSs are in series. So what would you do? You would say that, okay, uh, let me make the polys. Are Baba. Yeah. Let me make the polys where this poly would represent one input. This poly would represent another input. Uh, let us call this A. Let us call this B. Now, let us make the contacts. Let us say this is the output. I made a contact here. This is ground. I made a contact here. Hmm? Uh, this is... Now, you will have to tell me which one should be output and which one should be VDD. The so middle one should be output. Middle one should be output. Why? Sir, because it, uh, it, no, sir, because it is shared, the PMOS uh, drain, uh, both the drains are connected. So, wo to main yahan pe metal se share kar sakta hon, see, I could short them like this. Sir, middle one would have uh, less capacitance. So, output. So, this could output be the way I could have output faster. there. Yes, sir, this can also be done. Hmm? So, Sir, actually, how you're drawing this uh, NAND layout from this uh, schematic that you just am not able to get it. Okay, so you're able to see these signals A and B? Yes, sir. The poly? B. Yes, sir. Hmm? So when the poly intersects with the N, uh, active in the P well, what do we get? So one is the source and drain. We get an NMOS, hey, no? So yeah. we get a source and a drain there, and this is another NMOS. And by the virtue of shared diffusion region, shared active, this connection is already being built there. This okay. connection is already being built. Am I right? Okay. Similarly, on the PMOS side, there are two PMOSs. And by the virtue of this shared diffusion region, I am either making this connection or I am making this connection. Either of those two I'm making. That is what my question is. Which one? Like, where would you use the shared shared diffusion? Like, shared diffusion should be VDD or shared diffusion should be output? That is what my question to you is. Uh, output. Shared diffusion should be output. Why? Because we get our output from the middle of the PMOS and the NMOS. So I think it could be both because like, because then also the source and drain also, source is also shared, then drain is also shared. Yeah, they are in parallel. So yeah, electrically, it's not a difference. 
yeah that's also one and thing so i mean it doesn't make a difference to me it doesn't make a difference to you you yes. already talked yes. about capacitance huh see where did i start this uh, this discussion from from a question on capacitance so this is a hint so sure. there can be two things sir one thing is in the current configuration you are uh, taking the metal over the poly two times okay and 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 if you uh, if you do the vdd on both sides then you have to take the uh, take uh, take it to above the uh, for the railing that would be going above uh, for the vdd but it would not be over the poly it would be uh, at a minimum drc from the poly maybe you can increase that uh, if you don't want to lose the area so you cannot you cannot but uh, increase that and decrease the capacitance also mhm mm okay anything else devrit uh, sir uh, when uh, in the middle one in the that contact to poly there is contact to poly capacitance in both side so there would be initially some load capacitance also so if we could make the capacitive capacitance less somehow then uh, switching could be done more faster means we have to discharge and charge less <clears throat> okay so what should we do sir i mean as as i can see a uh, diffusion capacitances won't change how do we connect because we have this because that is dependent up according to me upon the active area only so if the area is in the diffusion capacitor it doesn't make a difference like where do i can do so what you say so what you're telling me is that this area is same as some of these areas No, no sir so i i'm saying as i'm saying that uh, the diffusion capacitance depends upon what is the area of my source and drain yeah so so yahan pe if you if i would connect y this y node on on the outer things this is the area that i am looking at hai na Whereas if I keep my output over here, this is the area I will look at. No, sir, but this area will come because it is source. So source area is also coming, right? Because we cannot think of only the drain area. Source and drain output both come. Output pe to ab jo bhi laga rahe ho, wahi area na na. Okay. If my device, if my wire is here, why would the capacitance of this node appear on my output? Sir, but the diffusion capacitance was the sum of the source, right? You said total. Diffusion capacitance of a. Did I say sum of source and drain capacitance? We only looked at one capacitance. We said whether it is source or drain. This is the capacitance. This is how you should calculate the capacitance. It was okay. sum of two components. What were the two components? Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Hmm. It was sum of two components. But what were those two components? Again, this is a hint. That was one. Was the width and the LS. Length. So, so sir, that uh, LS part, one of the LS part gets eliminated if we do the middle one tapping. So I have uh, only one gets layers, eliminated. So basically, two two here for inversion layer will come. Yeah, yeah. So only one LS gets eliminated, or both the LS, uh, both the widths get eliminated. so see even if you tell me that this area is same as this area what happens there is a junction side wall junction capacitance also which is appearing only for this here but in the, in this region it will it is appearing for all three sides yes sir mm -hmm. sir uh, i'm sorry sir but i'm really unable to i'm like uh... Uh, I'm like correlate these both structures, sir. Uh, I'm like, could you please explain that, sir? I'm like. So what are you not able to correlate, sir? Uh, there are uh, four. Uh, uh, I'm like two two p mos and two two n mos according to the structure. I do understand yes. that, but yes, sir. Uh, I'm like I literally can't see those four, sir, over here. You I'm, can't I'm, see four. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm. You see, this is one transistor. Let us call this p one. 
sir how did that become a transistor so that, that was my doubt actually this is poly running over active region na yes yes sir that okay. becomes a transistor okay okay we saw the top level view of the transistor in the last class also this yes, is sir. how it looked nahi right? yes sir so aapne last class revise nahi kari uh actually uh, i didn't revise it sir to be honest yeah. so we did that in the last class hmm? so that is a poly poly over active is a transistor that is p1 so it has its input at a so this is p1 the p mos with input b is let us say call it p2 so this is p2 yes sir okay the n mos with input a let us call it n1 so this is n1 and n mos with input b we call it n2 yes sir okay yes sir uh, no i understand about now you're able to see yes sir so sir a uh, uh, a small doubt sir so uh, i'm like uh, even this might have been discussed but uh, yeah sir sir where are these drain source and uh, gate regions sir exactly of this pmos you tell me what do you see here where are the source and drain regions what is source and drain source sir towards the left and right sir i'm like of this poly towards the left and right of this poly there is a source and drain region so aapne khud hi to jawab de diya sawal kya hai fir sir uh, then what are this uh, i'm like yellow color one sir exactly i'm like you not worked on the assignment yet you not paint the layout yet i did that sir uh, and but but when i oh. generated sir they were, they were directly coming sir i'm like i, I didn't see any oh so you again you should so friends it's important because i will be building upon what we discussed in the last class hai na whatever i have discussed earlier uh, i will be building up upon that so i myself try to upload the lectures within you know as early as possible within one hour two hour of the class have you noticed that yes sir why do i do that to give us time to because i want you to review what we have discussed if there are any questions you should ask the tas in the office hours if there is anything else you should discuss with us in the next class otherwise i will uh, as well upload all the lectures together in towards the you know closer to the mid sem or the end sem exam should i do that no sir the intent is that when you look at the uh, you know uh, when you go through the class i know you might be in one particular state of mind uh, you might get stuck with some idea some previous you know hum kuch topic discuss karenge there is some question pending and you are stuck there and we moved ahead in the class and okay later you ask the question that questions get solved but there is some little concept which you have missed so i share the lectures very as early as possible so that you are able to review the concepts and refresh and fill in for anything that you might have missed hmm? yes sir it's important na yes sir the so please uh, review whatever has been up there you if you are writing notes review from your notes otherwise i am uploading the lectures review from the lectures so these yellow ones are contacts so if you have made the layouts you would have already seen these contacts nahi right? yes sir so uh, why the question then vaishnav uh, i'm like okay uh, so there are two pins right sir i'm like there there are drain and source uh, on the left and right of that but uh, i'm like we have made contact only for one so that we are connecting that i'm like we, we aren't mentioning the other one uh, because it's not needed so uh, it, yeah that is, see that is where i am responding to gagandeep's query how do we reduce the the number of contacts how do we reduce the source and drain area see if you would use the p cells which i dissuaded you from using in the last class also if you use the p cells what will happen let us look at it if you use the p cells then you will get one transistor you will get four sir total you will get another transistor you will make another transistor here you will make another transistor here and uh, you will probably connect the poly like this you will probably connect the poly like this again and then 
you will put contacts everywhere yes sir and make the connection accordingly hai na so what happens in all this in all this so okay you may say that okay this is ground this is vdd uh, this is the shared node i will connect them like this i will connect them like this ha huh? yes sir and uh, this is again vdd and i say this is my output hmm yes sir so what is happening now what is what are how many capacitances do we see yes, if we just sir. count poly to contact capacitances there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight capacitances from poly to contact yes sir hmm? additionally there are eight source and drain capacitances also yes sir hmm so even if we say that area of shared active region even if we say that area of the shared active region is same as the area of these independent actors what happens just give me a minute yeah so even if we say that uh even if we say that this uh, area of shared active is equal to the area of the two independent actors what extra capacitance do i have here i have this side wall capacitance coming in extra plus at least one of these drain capacitances is extra so but that will be basically but when i'm extending the shared region then basically i don't think that will become an extra thing because this same area would come this under the shared region also right I, so i said if we go with the assumption go with you know be careful about what i said okay mm -hmm. so okay okay we, if, if we look at it over here what would be the length of extension of this region it would be poly to contact space plus contact width plus uh, od extension so you calling it od diffusion layer you calling it od in your lsw what do you call yes, it LSW? yeah so yes, these three things will make one source or drain region am i right thanks let us put some numbers let us say poly to contact is 50 nanometer uh, contact width is let us say 60 nanometer and let us say od extension beyond uh, poly is 30 nanometer so this would come out to be 140 nanometers hmm yes sir okay now now let us come here so in this region we we are putting one contact so what is the spacing between these two polys uh poly to contact plus contact width plus poly to contact are you able to see this yes, yes sir let's put the numbers now 50 plus 60 plus 50 kitna aaya 160 nanometer to so effectively wahan pe kitne thi width 140 over here 140 over here the width effective width over there was 280 280 right over here we are talking about 160 right so diffusion capacitance would reduce drastically diffusion capacitance reduce reduces not just because of area getting reduced it also reduces because the side wall junction capacitance also does not come yeah right right yeah. yes sir okay additionally how many poly to contact capacitances do you see now One, two, four, three, sir. four, five, six. Six, six. वहाँ पे कितनी थी? How many were there? Eight. Eight. So you see, you are able to reduce that capacitance also. 
so even that the field the field the capacity of the field also reduces because we have to shared trains right there was some field also right the big print the uh, contact to sorry gate and uh, drain gate and source there were three components right so that field also i think it reduces because of this yeah yeah because that you can say because the drain area reduces that can reduce yes that will also reduce the poly to the poly to drain capacitance would also reduce because the drain region is smaller in total length yeah total area yeah yes, yes. sir yes sir i have a small doubt sir so uh, uh, when we are doing the schematic sir so we were uh, we were much precise on the width sir to be precise so when we generated it uh, we got the uh, yeah we did generate but i will try it again uh, using this so when we generated it we got the uh, uh, ps i'm like uh, p mos and n mos of different lengths i'm like okay I, when I, whenever i give the width as 7 or 8 it, uh, and the width of n mos as 4 or 5 you so, are using widths of 7 microns in your yes, assignment sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Uh, so Do when really we really need that wide transistors, sir. Actually, we didn't know how to cut the P MOS and N MOS into fingers. So, uh, uh, literally, I placed uh, one below the other vertically by generating it, and uh, uh, that that's how it happened, sir. Uh, so, sir, there is twenty femto load on the inverter. Yes, sir, and twenty femto okay. load. Okay. Twenty femto load के लिए आपको seven micron बनाना पड़ रहा है. Sir, and the I'm, they were asking in 20 picoseconds sir i'm like uh, the, even okay. that was not possible by using ns i'm like okay that was possible but a bit hard to achieve in nsvtlp uh, but it was happening in nlvtlp uh, so uh, yes sir so what I, was your question vaishnav uh, one second sir actually i forgot my question uh, okay yeah i i, I yeah i got I, i got it sir so Uh, whenever we we were using the width, sir, we I'm like first suppose seven and four, uh, we we got different uh, lengths of the P MOS and N MOS, sir, sir. But uh, now here, if we do it directly, then uh, how would we mention? I'm like measure the width of the uh, P MOS and N MOS uh, because we are just running the poly over the active region, sir. Uh, so yeah. over there, uh, width was uh, predefined in the schematic, and then we went to the layout directly, and we generated. So over here, when you are making these rectangles, the active rectangles, you make this as width p, and you make this as width n. Okay, so I, we are supposed to measure that with a scale, and uh, that's it, right, sir? I'm like, yeah. How else would you ensure the accuracy? Okay, sir. Uh, the the part would be the this but we had to basically ensure the length part would be when we are making when without the pieces the length part we have to be the channel length plus these uh, poly to contact and then that no, no, no. length length the length which you use 60 nanometer or 65 nanometer or yeah. 80 nanometer this is l the width of the poly yeah and then i have to uh, for the minimum drc i will take that po yes. uh, po to co and that so that yes. will ensure the minimum area yes Sir. minimum area would also have this minimum active to od to n well spacing and so many see all these will lead to rules nahi right? yes sir yeah yeah so actually this the, the, it's the first layout so we are not aware all all these rules so yeah. that's why maybe so that is why i'm i'm covering this in the class don't worry <laughs> don't worry you're not expected to know aapne agar refresher course mein kara hoga ya kabhi pehle kar liya hoga that is one thing otherwise you're not really expected to know all this i know you're not done this earlier Hmm? Okay, so uh, sir, I had one doubt. Mm -hmm. So suppose, for example, like earlier we were seeing the like NAND structure, right? So for example, you made a shared like a shared basically some area was shared, right? And uh, to me, uh, for example, what I'm looking at is that what area capacitance is basically getting transferred to the output. So I'm only focusing on that. right so for example if i say i've only i'm considering an nmos say uh, for a nmos or pmos say for example and uh, for example right we have a poly right generally we draw one poly and then we have a one source string suppose we kind of like uh, to reduce that area maybe to like if we have a for example uh, like me uh, sort of divide the poly sort of and mm -hmm. like make a like a like some kind of structure there like a so that we have a like drain in the common and then we are connecting source with metal one and then we are connecting to so 
for example to the what exactly the factor i'm looking at here like so the i'm i will be only looking at the diffusion capacitance area see only the thing i'm looking at is the diffusion should reduce and then basically whatever ps at the load that would be my driving factor only yeah here. so yeah let me take you to that this is actually raghav what you are asking is if i try to answer vaishnav's question that okay i have 7 microns of pmos and 5 microns of nmos and i have to draw them how do i draw them hmm so abhi tak to possibly what you guys are doing is you are saying that okay i will make one big pmos over here i will make one big nmos over here and i will make a poly between them and this is what how my thing would look abhi to aap aisa kar rahe hain hai na yeah whatever yes, be the sir. width you are yes, saying sir. this is 7 microns this is 5 microns and i'm done with my inverter but right, that is not sir. how that is not how library cell layouts are made come to okay. think of it i tell you you have to make a wall hmm. we are going back to the construction analogy i want you to make a brick wall hmm. and then i say that okay some bricks are uh, this tall other some other brick is this tall another brick is this tall and then there is a brick which is this wide but that tall and so on so will you be able to make a good wall no sir no mushkil hoga na yeah so what is done is we say that okay nothing doing nothing of this sort doing all the cells that you have to make whether it is an inverter whether it is a nand gate whether it is a nor gate or an ai or whatever cells you are making we will use a standard fixed height now what you will what you can change is that if there is a small cell you will use only this much width but if it's a big cell you will use much larger width you are using the same area but the height is fixed now what happens now you can actually place these tiles one over another and you can make a big wall am i right are you able to see this yes sir so but i have one thing to ask sir here as when i'm when i'm drawing the layout the height is not even in my control so height as is fixed now, as of now i am telling you you okay. will have to fix the height otherwise how will you go about making this wall later but right now with the inverter we are having okay because we are having two cells only so that's why no, it is it is not because you did not even think ki aapko height constraint karni hai if i tell you you have to constrain the height what will you do so but the height parameter i couldn't see that it was anywhere mentioned in the no, like it is not mentioned it. it is not mentioned but i am telling you now so some way we can change the height you are saying that hmm so let me say let me ask you if i have to draw this 7 micron wala pmos in a height of 1 micron what will you do sir actually i'm not able to get that height concept that what exactly is meaning by the side than 1 micron the, are you meaning that the thickness of the uh, gate oxide Verti and those... no 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 i am saying this vertical extent should be less than 1 micron but my effective pmos should be 7 microns wide I mean, so this extension is itself the width, right? So, I no. mean, as carried then, sir. Sorry. Like I can break it. Place one seven. by one each other in vertical. One micro, one micro, one micro, seven times, then connect them. So what I can do is I will say that. So now let me go to. So this is this is how the layout view would look. Okay. Let's say that uh, we will uh, see. Itna sara layout banane me it takes a lot of time. Nee, itna I have to make so many rectangles. So there is a different representation of layout which is called as stick diagrams. So you will find uh, lots of details on stick diagrams in your West Day also. Okay. So what do we do? We say that okay, there is one PMOS. Uh, so each so this 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 horizontal line represents what we call as uh, active region of let us say. maximum 1 1 micron width can we say this can we say this that this horizontal line represents active region active this this kind of a rectangle which is 1 micron wide can i make this assumption so you're taking yes. the width to be 1 micron right yeah 
but okay, i am showing okay. it representing it as only as one line i'm not making it an, into a rectangle over here i made this rectangle to represent the active region na right over here i am saying i am just using a line i am just using a stick can i do okay. that okay so you are not representing the length basically of channel i'm i'm just representing the width the width of the active region i'm not even talking about poly yet channel ki baat nahi aayi abhi abhi to khali axis ki baat aayi i'm not using rectangles i'm just using sticks hmm? that okay. is why it is called a stick diagram similarly i use sticks for the poly also hmm? so let me say that this represents poly this rectangle the rectangle that we have made over here that is represented by one stick over here vertical stick red one in color can i say this yes hmm? let me say contacts i am representing by such crosses can i say this yes sir. yes sir now if i have to make a pmos which is 7 microns wide what do i do i say that okay i have just 1 micron width available to me to make a 7 micron device i will put 7 pmos in parallel and what does parallel mean parallel means that i will have to short we will short all the drains together and not yeah. all the drains so i will now short let us say ah sorry and this and i will short the other like this so that black one is also metal content black one is also metal i'll just choose vdd for black and or what else do i need to short i need to also short the polys tabhi to gate connect hoga are you able to see this so, so it's a bit confusing sir i mean metals. so why we have you why you have two sets of metal uh, like one is black and what what why why can't be a single one i'm not able to get no no i just used the black one because it was available readily there i can make it blue don't worry let me make so, it blue to i mean the... so why not why not connecting all the eight contacts with a single like metal kind of running like you're missing two sets right okay you tell me you should have the answer for this sir uh, we are connecting the drains together and source together right sir in this yeah if i connect all eight of them together then all the sources Dead and shot. will be shorted yes yeah yeah okay okay so what do i need to do to make two devices in parallel i need to short their gates and the source and the drains there are three nodes that i need to short am i right yes sir that is what i am doing 1 2 3 so now whatever device size whether you want to make 7 microns or 10 microns or whatever can you make it within the height of let us say a total height of 1. Point, uh, yeah 5 microns or something let us say whatever can you make it yes sir hmm so this process is called as splitting into fingers sir yes sir using this parallel um, dividing it into fingers won't this increase the area uh yes but what were you constrained about you have to build a wall yes yes sir sir actually i, I was i tried a similar thing i was able to uh, Made the specification in smaller bits, but then I thought of area. Then I skipped this idea. No, I, but I thought I have to do it like this. You have to fix the height. So how do you fix the height? 
अभी तो मैंने आपको कुछ भी हाइट बोल दिया हाउ डू आई अराइव एट अट हाउ मच हाइट डू आई नीड फॉर दीज सेल्स वैष्णो यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन योर हैंड इज रेस्ड सॉरी सर ओके सो हाउ डू वी रेस हाउ डू वी फिक्स द हाइट सर दिस हाइट आई एम नॉट एबल टू विजुलाइज इट सर फॉर एग्जांपल दिस विथ इटसेल्फ द हाइट वी आर टेल टॉकिंग अबाउट द विथ इटसेल्फ नो see height is okay let us look at it Can like you help me visualize it because i'm not able to yeah. get what exactly you meaning by height so let height go. by number of uh, p mos or n mos we want so that we can fix the height of uh, each p mos smaller so let us go back to this layout jo humne pehle banaya tha hmm the, i want to find the height of this this cell how would i calculate it i will say there is active to n well od to n well spacing plus let us say this is wp wp plus od to n well hmm then plus od to the n well to od yeah yeah right plus width of n mos yeah and then and then extension of poly right hmm and then if i would make a if i have to consider that i have to make walls then this cell would would come above another cell are you are you able to see this So, so this this hole is a one cell. This whole NAND gate. Yeah, this would be one cell. There would be another cell that would come beneath it. So I have to ensure this poly to poly spacing is also taken care of. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I will do PO to PO by two. Why? By why by two? The minimum spacing is we have to ensure right. Yeah, so because if I leave half DRC here, half DRC in the other cell, overall full DRC will be met. Yeah. So the other PO is of the another cell you're talking about now, yes. the next cell. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So what what has happened now? Now this is what is my height. So won't the P tap and that uh, via that that also come into picture here? Because mm. in layout we were making very smart. So you're taking me further ahead in the in the session. Great. So now look at it like this. Why do we need p taps and n taps? Yeah, yeah. That that was not clear even <laughs> yesterday. I asked in the office also. So I mean, oh. because say because it was we we are, we have uh, actually in the virtual layout uh, like the GUI we are taking we are calling it as a via via. But I don't. I was able to relate it why we are calling it a via. I mean. it doesn't appears to me like we are creating some via or that no no it's not about via my question is why do we need n tap and p tap so i see madhur and gadandeep you have raised your hands madhur you have a question yes sir i have question on the stick diagram yes sir mm hmm yeah sir can you show the stick diagram yes yeah so so Uh, this this above stick, the top stick. This is one entire drain region for different. This is one active region, which gets split into source and drain depending on where the poly is. Okay, sir. So, uh, so so wouldn't source and drain? I mean, the source. Or let us let us call the first source and drain for transistor one, and the next source and drain for. Yeah, why? Karana, look. I I put S over here. This is the source. This is the drain. Yes, then for for this part this one be the this is the, because drain is shared so this is the drain then that becomes the source okay. now source is shared so for the other thing the other part becomes a drain so that is why we connected alternate uh contacts alternate active regions we can we connected through metals to get source and drain nodes so this node is drain node and this node is source node and this node is grid gate Okay, sir. And sir, how are two source and drains, uh, adjacent source and drains, being isolated from each other? You tell me. Let us draw the. 
let us draw the horizontal or the cross section view so what will we find there we will wait wait let us happy my side ka hi bana rahe hain 1 minute ko just give me a minute so let us draw the cross section let us say this is the silicon surface let us say hum is ke poly ko banana shuru karte hain one poly second poly third poly fourth poly and so on hmm so what is happening in this source and drain region you are getting this diffusion first diffusion second diffusion third diffusion fourth diffusion fifth diffusion then what did you do you made metals and you connected this one with this and this and through another set of metals you connected this let me just and this and you would go here hmm so is there a way that source and drain would get shorted amongst each other Yes, sir. Hana? So you look just look at the cross section. It cannot happen. Source and drain are separated from each other through the depletion region. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. Um. I someone else also. Gagandeep, you also had a question. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, on the very first layout, the land one that we saw. How did we make that decision? That from where I am going to tap the VDD and from where I am going to tap the. We have uh, not out. concluded that yet. Have we concluded that question yet? You're not even answered my question yet. We have. Yes, sir. We are not. Uh, so we'll come to that. We will come to that. In fact, you should be able to tell me by after the as we progress what should it be. I said that and, and uh, that P tap is because uh, we want the bodies of all the NOS to connect to ground and the and the N well to M one VI is for uh, N well should be connected to VDD. So we are tapping that. Yeah, you've heard about latch up, any one of you? Yes, sir. We talked about latch up in one of the earlier classes also. What is latch up? There is an internal BJT that gets on. So. Yeah, because there is this PN region which is there, है ना? So latch up can happen. And what did we say? Latch up को avoid करने के लिए क्या करना होता है हमें? So in So can you elaborate on this latch up? I'm not able to get it. Uh... So latch up, so uh, already one of the earlier courses, even I think uh, any course on silicon technology would have covered on latch up, na? No? Nee? Yes, sir. I will look into it. Yeah. So what happens is there is this. We're talking about an inverter. Let us say an inverter only. Hmm. one of them is in the p well and the other is in the n well so what is this region suppose let us say this is n well uh, this is uh, n mos so what is this region this is p this is n this is n this is n this is p this is p are you able to see this yes sir so what happens is if you will so any veste has it rabi has it all those books have it so what happens is that uh, this npn and pnp kind of dio, uh, bjt configurations get built okay so we sort of create a feedback loop and uh, yes so we we can we kind of end up making a circuit where if there is <clears throat> some value of resistance in one place then this circuit would go into a <clears throat> huge current flow situation everything will completely burn out isme se ek npn hai ek pnp hai theek hai so the only way to avoid that is that you have to reduce these resistances what happens when i reduce the resistance suppose i have to sink current i through this If I reduce the resistance, what happens? The voltage that appears in the base and emitter of across the VBE for this particular BJT will reduce. Similarly, if I reduce this resistance, the VBE for this one would reduce. Hmm? So I would be able to ensure that none of the transistors is on. But if this resistance goes high, what happens? For the same current, this VBE will go high, and the transistors will turn on. and once these parasitic bjt is turn on 
there is huge flow of current which is called as latch up it's kind of making a latch it is a positive feedback loop that comes into picture that is why the term latch so the substrate kind of gets latched up so, and it completely burns out so so this current is flowing within the substrate right because the latch up is happening within that substrate yeah so you tell me when we said that uh, we have a transistor switching happening so some charges would flow na yes sir yeah some charges would flow into the body and from the body yeah different bodies might be connected or the different yeah. n wells of that p well yeah so that flow of charge is happening through the body so there is some current that is flowing even if that current is small some current is flowing is it not yes sir so, so but then what is this uh, about the resistance So, but this resistance is basically what this character is uh, characterizes. Which part is characterizing this resistance? The resistance of the body, the substrate region. Okay, so but that would be controlled by the doping. We are what kind of doping? By the doping, yes. And also, suppose I say that okay, over here I put a N plus, and I put VDD over here. So this resistance was from VDD to this N. Hmm. now vdd is available right here so the resistance is less so for so, this entire latch up is based on our assumption that there is a transistor being formed but uh, that this doesn't feel like a very good transistor because in because in a transistor the base region is very very thin yes but here no? this yeah always we thought that this will not cause a problem but it causes problems even with very low gain even if the gain is 1.1 it is a gain is it not it will not act very fast it will take one second to respond but within one second there will be latch up and what happens your device will burn out sir nahi nee? are you able to see this So, sir, with this P tap and this uh, M one and W, we are creating this N plus regions or that regions, and that yes. basically helps us in preventing the latch up. Yes. These are called substrate connections, and they have to be given at a at a distance at, or at a maximum spacing as specified by the technology people. So, spacing which spacing you are talking about here? The spacing between uh, two uh, P taps or two N taps. so technology people tell that every 30 microns you have to have place a p tap uh, otherwise there can be latch up okay okay right okay debrit you yes, said uh sorry in earlier lectures you told that uh, substrate coupling extraction uh, will be not doing in this uh, course so the thing is that uh, uh, we won't be taking care of issues like latch up but uh, when i was making no, the no, no, no. Uh, wait, 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 wait. we are not taking care of substrate coupling extraction but did i also say we will not take care of latch up uh, no sir uh, so that is a reduction you are making i did not say that latch okay. up is something every designer has to take care of come whatever may so because i observed that uh, when i was putting in tap for pmos and not enclosing with the envel it was showing something lup uh, yeah it would it would do something strange for you yes sir so it will not even do lvs screen if you do not uh, put uh, uh, p taps and n taps it will give you stamping error okay so the 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 uh, the system will not even let you proceed if you do not put these uh, taps there okay sir okay Thank so yes taps ka matlab टैस का मतलब यही है ना कि वेन एवर वी क्रिएट द पिन वी वुड गेट अ बिगर नेम ऑफ फॉर सपोज जी ग्राउंड विल गेट दैट एज बिगर वन जी एंड डी बोल के बहुत बड़ा है व्हाट आई एम सेइंग व्हाट व्हाट व्हेन आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड टैप आई एम मीनिंग सबस्ट्रेट कनेक्शंस ओके ओके सो फॉर द डोंट कंफ्यूज इट विद कांटेक्ट्स कांटेक्ट्स आर समथिंग एल्स ओके एंड सो सो फॉर द पीमोस द एनवल envel envel mmo was the tap right for the pmos the, the envel m1 yeah was the tap right mm, no Just... tap is made separately for example in an envel 
hmm, when the pmos is made in an n well you will make a n plus region mr so, so i am talking that with the layout that you are making for the to connect the nmos we are using the p tab right but for that vdd for the pmos we are using a m1 n well via and that is basically maybe doing the kind of substrate connection so that's what i'm asking so that would be a considered as a p tab sorry the tab for the pmos no don't uh, so abhi aapka if you're using t cells the tab will come automatically okay you will ha you have a, a, a p cell for tap okay otherwise if you are making layouts like this so that your layouts are denser they are closer to what you wanted in the schematic and so on then you will have to make a tap separately main wahi bata raha hu see abhi in this particular layout what did i not show i did not show the uh, I so did even not in, uh, even in the generate from source, it is not coming automatically. You have to put the via separate. Via you have to put. So tap is not via. Tap is something else. That is what. Let just let me complete. So what I what what I am not showing is another layer, which is over here for the N MOS. It is called as uh, N. Uh, it is called as N plus. and for the pmos we have another layer which is called as p plus have you seen that layer in your layouts yes sir yes sir so i had not shown that layer to you Abhi yes sir tha. yes sir yeah, so yes, what sir. you how you make a tap is if you have to make a substrate connection for the p well then instead of n plus you will make a p plus region and in that you will only make an active and you will connect that actus with ground so now what happens now you what have you done you made this as n plus what uh, not n plus you made this as p plus yes sir no this is p plus so what is happening there is a p well and in this you have made a p plus region so between them there is no deple there is no uh, depletion region per se oh, oh. between the p well and p plus there is simple flow of current that can happen there is no depletion region which will ever come into picture it's not a junction so actually in the layout there was a tutorial so in that tutorial we were said that the n plus and the p plus there or only kind of shows us that what kind of doping has to go there but they are not yes. actually in the layer they are not going to the fabrication they are not been processed yeah but, yeah so but so i have made active and only have shown the active to be there i have not shown the design related to the p plus layer okay so the p plus layer here is basically telling us that the active will be of the p type right yes okay yeah sir so this was the contact actually was the, we had to basically uh, instantiate using a create via option only p tap okay. in the virtual so but okay. for the above for the pmos we for the same kind of to do that we had to use a m1 and po m1 no sir m1 po sorry uh, it was m1 n well m1 n well yes sir yes. we were using m1 n well m1 n well because what you need to do there is you need to in the n well you need to create an n plus active region and then n plus to n well there is a direct flow of charge there is no junction there yes sir so but this is not technically via right no this is not via okay yeah that is why aap via keh rahe ho main mana kar raha hu ki via ki baat nahi kar raha main yeah that's what the option in option it was coming on the via so okay yes yeah, so i got the it option was showing via actually whatever it was okay so it is not a via if you in an interview you say via they will say you don't know anything about vlsi So why yes, does he say that it does not go to fabrication? I mean, for providing a uh, connection to substrate, we need a we need this n plus or p plus. Yeah, yeah. So this is information at the time of. So you will not see an artifact of n plus layer on silicon, can you? You made this. Uh, let us say, 
you have made this n plus or p plus layer over here would you see anything like in this in this uh, cross section view do you see anywhere where the n plus is ending and p plus is starting can you see an artifact on silicon not in this diagram but it should be like this in any diagram you will not see that a n plus mask is required therefore you need to make this but otherwise after that mask nothing else only active region is what is get what will get doped other part is sealed oxide there will be no impact on it so, so the active region is what will you will see on silicon and the mask for the n plus and p plus is much larger than that active region taki pura ka pura active region gets the doping so this n plus and p plus are real dopings that are going on silicon right yeah they are dopings but you cannot see the artifact of n plus layer the layer that you made over here this will not appear on silicon this layer will not appear on silicon it will only appear as that the the doping of the active and closed within the n plus layer is and and oh, tight okay sir it is that this this particular region has a higher doping than the yes that the doping over here is n type and the doping on the p plus region is p type that is the only thing you can deduce but you will not be able to see an artifact of this layer on silicon okay sir and each one of these uh, each one of uh, each one of these is also connected to the like, vcc or ground whichever doping is yes so we were coming to the standard cells huh <laughs> sir i am question uh, for n plus p plus only mm -hmm. sir sir i was when i was making the inverter so i what i did to reduce the height so i i did that uh, i i put the both the n mos and p mos side by side and so after that i made the connections and uh, i i had some uh, space for n p uh, sorry The, the tabs also so i also made those tabs inside that periphery only so after that actually sir i had to uh, make the pp and np layer parallel to each other there okay. uh, vert vertically vertically parallel Sim normally what we do is we we make it horizontally parallel so no, no. So, so who who gave you that normal t is sir ha huh? t is okay Sir, but it yes, won't sir. be. So they, 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 they. I mean, refused. Uh, I mean, they told me that not to do this. Okay, so I will tell you what what actually happens. So, uh, let us look at how the template of the uh, of the leaf cell is made. You say that I will not make any taps in the in my every cell because. the drc says that there should be a tap every 30 microns so if i make a tap in every cell then i am unnecessarily overcompensating or overusing the drc hmm? the drc requires once every 30 microns mai if i am making a tap continuously then i am wasting lots of area so i simply put a metal one and i say this will carry ground on the top i put a metal one and i say this will carry vdd okay and this vdd thickness or ground thickness you can say is 2x 2x x means minimum wire width okay and then what you say is half of this thickness will go on the other side hmm from will come from the other cell and half i will keep in my cell so you say that okay this is how my cell height would look like okay then what you also do is you make an n well you make it such that uh so now you make an n well this is your template now what you will do is you will make devices over here and you will make those poly poly regions
stuff like that. Okay. So what are we talking about over here? If I had to make a much bigger device, I would simply break it into multiple fingers. Like I have made the NMOS in three fingers and PMOS in two fingers over here. NMOS in two fingers and the PMOS in one finger over here. Hmm? So how do I decide this height? Any idea? Sir, uh, do we know the, I'm like, uh, previously, do we know what are the sizes of PMOS and NMOS are exactly? So that, uh, no. By... no, you do not know. How will you decide this height? Sir, Sir actually, uh, I asked this uh, to Nansar. So he told that uh, we decide this based upon the metal to uh, minimum spacing and minimum width. So mm -hmm. the, the height of the standard cell is decided based upon the uh, that. that so thing. are all of you attending officers also? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, but so, this, it, it has not got to this, this advance. Earlier, we were having tools related. Mostly tools were not working. So till now that only. Yes. Okay. So see what happens is uh, when we make this wall, you remember the wall of uh, standard cell that we were talking about, this wall. Hmm? So what do I need to do? I need to connect a flip-flop from here with a, uh, you know, a flip-flop from here with a buffer over there. I need to connect something, you know, some input of this flip-flop with the adjacent cell, some input of this adjacent cell with an adjacent cell, some input from here would come from here and so on. And uh, that is how your connectivity would be made. All these these walls on these these regions that we're talking about are basically your AND gates, NAND gates, buffers, and so on. So based on what your circuit is, you will need to make connections every here, there, everywhere. Yes, sir. So these connections uh, cannot be made in metal one. Why cannot be made in metal one? Because metal one we've already blocked over here like this. Anna? So metal one, you cannot route over and, uh, you know, you cannot, with metal one, you cannot cross from one, one layer to another, one layer, matlab nahi, one row to another, because metal one is blocked. So what do you do? You will use metal two, metal three, and other higher level of metals to connect between different rows of these standard cells. Are you with me till now? Yes, sir. So I mean, so different rows of standard cell. Okay, okay, okay. Different standard cells, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. These are three. I have shown three rows over here. Okay, yeah. And so one thing is here only in the metal one that you have drawn common. In that only you are saying that in that metal one only uh, thirty micron spacing we have to put a p tap p tap right. You are saying that. Yeah, we will come to that. Okay. Yes, we will come to that. Okay. So what are we saying? So we'll use metal two, metal three, and other metals to do this routing between these cells. Am I right? So yes. how many, how many uh, uh, such cells would you do you think there will be in any design? Let us say an Intel processor. How many such cells would be there? Do you know? So Millions of them. Okay. Millions of them. In the total chip, there would be millions of such cells. In any macro small processor, there would still be uh, thousands, if not lakhs of them. Okay. So you have to connect cells across thousands of cells and so many cells. So you will need lots of wires to run around. Huh? Yes, sir. So we say that this height should be such that sufficient number of wires can run over these cells. Okay. So the height is determined by how many wires do you want to run? So there could be a 12 track library. What does 12 track means? That 12 wires of metal two can run over this cell. Now let us consider let us say in 65 nanometer, wire width, minimum wire width is, what is your minimum DRC for wire width? 
it is 0.9 nanometer hmm? and minimum wire spacing is again 90 nanometer almost this much hai na so if i have to make two wires or if i have to similarly make multiple wires what would happen to make one wire i have to give a spacing of 180 nanometer this is also called pitch right this is pitch so for one track i need 180 nanometer height i have to make 12 tracks what would be the height 180 to 12 so 2.16 microns are you able to see this for a 12 track library the height from this point to this point is 2.16 and every structure that you make inside this this height should leave half drc from this this boundary which is called as pr boundary so at this point i'm not able to get it, this pr boundary point what exactly mean by that this is the perimeter boundary you may say the adjacent cell will come and abut at the perimeter boundary and sir half drc part ye to humne baat kari thi na abhi when we said that the poly jab when we were calculating the height over here we said half drc of poly to poly spacing has to be kept okay Why? so it, the drc is shared yes okay. because the adjacent cell will also leave half drc i will leave half drc so all the structures should have half drc from the pr boundary if i ensure that in every cell my entire system will be drc clean So, sir, this? so this half DRC is between the poly and the metal wire that is running, right? As, no, PR boundary. Okay. So I mean, can you show in this only where this metal one is coming, right? In that, okay. So in this metal one would be coming, would be coming. Let us say here. half above this boundary half below this boundary okay and okay so says this metal is also like shade between different cells this yes. metal of course kya hai viridi aur ground hi to hai na yeah viridi and ground can be shared so sir here i am having two kind of diases one is that i have to maintain between the poly of one cells and other cell and also this वायर थिकनेस राइट दे वुड बी सम दैट या वायर थिकनेस तो आपने आधी वहां डाली आधी यहां डाली दैट इज नॉट अ डीआरसी दैट इज हाउ यू प्लेस्ड इट ओके बट सर दे वुड बी सम मिनिमम थिकनेस ऑफ द वायर राइट दैट बट लाइक मिनिमम यू हैव टू मेंटेन ओके सो बट देयर इज नो लाइक डीआरसी बिटवीन द मेटल एंड द पॉली दिस नो दे आर डिफरेंट लेयर्स ओके मेटल वन इज डिफरेंट लेयर पॉली इज इन डिफरेंट लेयर ओके दैट वी सॉ इन द फैब्रिकेशन स्टेप्स आल्सो ना yeah yeah okay so oh. you to link it with all the previous lectures and so just with just a trivia sir this metal one is connected connected with this poly wire tungsten right because that is the base no this is vdd this vdd will not be connected to the poly vdd will be connected to source and drain yeah yeah okay okay hai na so there is there is this uh, metal one that is running down there and that is how this this region will get its ground there is this metal one running up here that is how this region will get their vdd okay but this metal one and that connection is between the wire tungsten right yeah so this yellow is a tungsten yeah yeah okay so uh, they are contacts contacts are tungsten yeah so but it is of vi also right because that vi is dual lamination process copper So, but like metal one is running above the uh, active region, so there would be some kind of vertical aggression also, na? That is also that we don't call no. a via. No. Okay, that is. Whenever you want to make a connection, you have to make a contact. Otherwise, it just runs through, runs above it. It's like okay. a flyover. When you want to have a connection, you make a pillar. Okay. Otherwise, okay. there is a span from below which many things can run. That pillar itself is a contact, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. excuse me, sir. Yes. 
can you please go to the previous diagram on the right hand side so, yeah uh, so what are these these bias so we were talking about these bias that are in between metal metal this ground and vdd so yeah we were talking about some constraint on these bias so minimum spacing i think get that one so we were talking about how many wires can i run from above one cell so, so these wires are also on metal one you were saying no they will metal two so the so metal one is only for vdd and ground and nothing else vdd ground all the local connections see all these local connections we made in metal one only na all these local connections are also in metal one nahi yes sir either we we made this local connections in metal one only na yes sir so this is not just vdd and ground all the local connections are also metal one so metal one is blocked metal one is blocked if you want to route anything around here you have to use metal two so why is why is exactly why is it exactly blocked? i'm sorry so why is it blocked aap batao uske andar agar aapko horizontally ek metal one leke jana hai to can you do it without shorting no sir that is why it is blocked accident ho jayega na yes sir so, so you need to go by the flyover okay so metal so two go to metal so this metal one is above this all these cells like i am quite not able to visualize this in 3d mm, what do you mean by above all these cells like these cells are in horizontal plane then we have uh, above them we have metal one and above that we have metal two yeah so look at this so we make contacts vertical contacts yes sir this is the side view this is the cross section view yes yeah okay okay so Now, then there will, there will be a metal one connecting okay. these ones and there will be a different metal one connecting these ones okay 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 what about the minimum spacing how many that you have to ensure the rc so you always have to ensure na that you cannot do away with so and we are talking about uh, metal in metal two layer right sir so, i'm sorry so we are talking about the spacing in metal two layer yes because metal two are the number of wires that you can carry above the cell which are passed through so if if there are 12 wires that have to cross each wire has to be at least minimum width and there should be a minimum spacing between them na yes sir uh, yes so uh, so here in, uh, we are saying we it is 12 tracks like it can have 12 wires so uh, like in between metal one ground and metal one uh, vdd we have this distance in which mm -hmm. we put, so why is it, why we are calling it as height what do you want to call it the distance between two metals okay call it distance between two metals how do what difference does it make see we are talking about this wall hai na you are talking yep. about this wall so i said that i will want to call this the height of one brick as height you want to call it distance between two metals you call it to distance between two metals so your choice so actually the uh, i want to use lesser words okay okay so this height terminology uh, was quite confusing for me to visualize the, uh, the these things in 3d that is why right. oh. i was asking so this is height in 2d sir 2d sense okay 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 thank you sir sir yes sir uh, yeah sir so there was a metal running above the stand i'm like above one cell and below one cell right sir so uh, for suppose we are giving uh, vdd for the above one and the ground for the below one so hmm. the the cell adjacent to this cell i am like the cell below this uh, hmm. the same cell would be repeating right sir so the cell below this i'm like how how, how is it using vdd sir i'm like because the pmos of of that is even so like, it will not use vdd you will simply flip the cell and use it so i'm like uh, literally will uh, make it what did we do or... over here what did we do over here we said source drain and then for the other cell it is drain and source other yes. time also it is drain and source similarly for one cell you will say let us say this is running vdd 
we know that the other one is running ground then you know this is running vdd and this is running ground so what is the big deal some cells are vertically placed other cells are uh, flipped but flipped okay yeah. sir uh, and one more doubt sir this i'm like uh, this is small doubt so uh, sir uh, as we are doing only for it it for one cell right sir so uh, the uh, this i'm like uh, the software which we use it uh, automatically knows that we have to flip this cell uh, i'm like uh, because we we yeah. do it only for uh, one right so yeah. okay okay thank you sir the tool will do it the tool will do it don't worry thank you sir okay so now taps taps kahan hai abhi to humne ye bana diya cell we talked about the height of these cells and everything what about taps excuse me sir so one yes. more, one more thing sir this height we are talking about is composed of width of pmos and nmos right sir no no this height is coming from how many tracks you are running through it Okay, so, so this height is, if i have four tracks the height will be 4w plus 4s okay okay so this height is also in the metal tool only so this height, height is mentioning this height of the standard right? cell is defined by number of metal two tracks you can run above it now it's a two dimensional height right sir so the brick wall yeah. that we talked about this brick wall that we talked about that is also regarding metal one or is it regarding standard cells that is standard cell scale bricks so each each standard cell you will co- consider as a brick in that wall and so the height we are talking about in this diagram and height that we talk about in that diagram they are different that is same yes. okay. so maine yahan bataya na so this it is it is zoom here let me zoom it is not letting me zoom so you see this i had made so this is the height this is the height of one standard cell so the height of until here is 3h because you have put three bricks one over another yes sir. and these bricks are of pmos or nmos whatever we want them to these be. bricks have pmos and nmos as both there is a pmos here and there is an nmos here oh, okay sir hai na yes sir and why is the side then uh, is only constrained by the number of wires that we can put in between that is that is how uh, that is the uh, what do you say that is how it is defined now if you make want to make a wider transistor you make it in fingers Okay, so is okay. So okay. instead of increasing the height, I just cascade. Increase the, height. the number of fingers. You increase the width. Okay. Okay. So you see that is why different cells have different width in this brick wall. Okay. Sir. They have the same height though. Oh, okay, sir. Sir. Yes. Sir, I have a general question, sir. So, sir, uh, the I'm mean, like the layout which we have made below. Was for uh, A bar B, right, sir? Uh, I'm like, yeah, for th- this A-B one bar. below. Land gate. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm like, okay. So, sir, uh, my doubt is that uh, so uh, when we consider a uh, chip or something, sir. So, if uh, how does that know the uh, how many standard cells should I make uh, of this kind? You write an RTL. No, sir. Uh, I have. I'm like. I'm. Okay. RTL. You made a schematic. Okay. Made a okay, schematic. Okay. RTL. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, so the schematic you will tell. I want an AND gate. Yes, that that will tell, sir. But uh, uh, so like this, num- many number of cells are present, right, sir? Uh, yeah. In- so, so see, that was why we covered that VDF pura design flow, na? Yes, sir. What did we say? We will write the RTL. We will simulate it. We will see the functionality is correct. Then we will go to the synthesis stage. Um, in yes, that sir. synthesis stage, I will get to know how many NAND gates. Okay, so it's predefined. It's... So you cannot forget any of the lectures till now. Okay, okay, sir. However, fluffy they might sound you to be sound sound to you. You cannot forget any one of them. Okay, sir. They are the basis. They are the foundation. That is the basic understanding on which we are building all this now. 
yes sir i i do understand my, my doubt is that whenever we write a rtl sir so my doubt is that all this all this is supposed to get into a chip right sir uh, finally at the uh, at the end of the uh, end of the task it's supposed to be get i mean it's supposed to be written into the i mean it's supposed to be uh, configured on the chip so hmm. rtl which we write is uh, which we write is uh, i'm like uh, it's before that right sir so yeah. uh, so how, how, i'm like uh, even in rtl we just write a code that's it uh, i'm like uh, what i have seen which we just write a code i'm like how how is the hardware i'm like how, how does that decide ki okay I, i need this many number of nand gates i need this many number of nand but we we write only one line over there sir yeah see you write one line but there are 10 gates that are introduced because of that line i'm like how is it i'm like how is uh, how is it uh, making the relevant the step is called synthesis okay okay sir this step is called synthesis so if you simulate an a uh, very log and tell me that i know very log i will not pay any heed to what you have told me unless you tell me i have i know how to write very log and i have synthesized very log into you know 100 gate designs or 500 gate designs or 1 million gate designs then i will know okay how complex very log you can write okay okay sir understood thank you sir okay otherwise very log is simple c language yes sir yes sir and i do, you, but we call it hardware description language why like because we are making hardware out of that uh, yes. yes and that first step of converting that c english language into into something which is closer to vlsi is synthesis okay sir thank you sir and so till now we the, the undergrads have done in eld we have done very long in eld so we were focusing mainly on fpgas so we did not much very so we wrote mostly behavioral codes behavioral descriptions and we did not think that uh, how many and gates will it use or how many or gates will it use. no no but eld maybe you must have seen na huh? this many lookup tables are used this much has been used you must have looked at the resources that are getting used yes sir so that we have so you were looking at that yes sir each register entry in the lookup table represents some gate you can assume that yes Yes, sir. One lookup table can be converted into an equivalent uh, yes. combinator. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, so you are already looking at that. You just not realize that this is actually going on silicon also like this. Okay, sir. So I mean, sir, I thought so. This is the first time that I am thinking about that. I never thought about reducing the resource utilization to an extent as to think about and gates and or gates. <laughs> so now you know. I don't even know, sir. We can if we can do that using behavioral. Yes, model. you can do that. So, but the uh, AND gates and OR gates are convert. Are, no, no. See are, where are, you put the where you put the for loops. For okay. loops all at once can be considered as parallelism. So generate for loops or, or combinatorial for loops. Whichever. So the generates will create instances and. Yes. Hai na? So that is parallelism. Yes, sir. So if you could, if you do not put for loops uh, for parts which do not need to be put in parallel or do not need to be replicated, you can say varia. Okay. Sir. It may increase time to execute, time to execute the entire instruction. Yes, but you will say varia. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. That is. Uh, yes, sir. instance at this we can say varia at the instance level. Module yes. level area we can say, but let us say that I need an adder. I just write a single line of very long code. C equals to a plus b. So now I have no control over how much. <laughs> yes, now the FPGA, which which FPGA board you are using, that will define which adder is being used. Yes. Yes. So what do we do in silicon uh, in ASIC design? What do we do? So we'll come. We'll uh, towards the end of this course, we'll talk about different kinds of adders also. Don't worry. Okay, so there are there are different kinds of adders. Some would have lesser area, some would have lesser delay, some would have lesser race condition. Yes, so we will look into that. Yes, yeah, okay. carry look ahead adder, ripple carry adders, all those things we will see. Okay. We'll not go into too much detail because that is simple combinatorial logic. You can always get it. it. See this information you will not get in the books. आप कितनी भी books जान लें आपको ये information नहीं मिलेगी. So my intent is I give you this kind of information in the class. Unfortunately, out of ninety-three students, only thirty-five are attending the class today. So, 
i am i am here i am here to offer and to give you additional information and answer your queries but uh, you have to be here to ask those questions hmm? okay. so my question was where is the strap now we not made the strap here so where does the strap come where do the, where do we make the tap for the p well and the n well to prevent latch up sir at the end of uh, that trc limb 30 yeah so what we say is that if my this wall you know the wall that i had made if this wall is 30 microns so i will simply make uh, taps at the boundary of this wall okay or usually my walls would be thousands of microns wide so what do i do i say that okay these are my rows in these i will put taps at regular intervals you seen uh, pillars in flyovers so those pillars come after regular intervals nahi right? so these taps you make after regular intervals so that no point this point no point has a tap which is farther than the rc distance away so yes so drc so this one cell that in particular wall is basically a standard cell right no 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 i am not i have just shown you rows now the standard cells in this would be very small ones So, this, so what is what the is vertical one? ones that I, the vertical ones that I have shown in this view are the taps. I should so, have probably used a different color. Let me use a so different. Actually, color. so so this uh, basically this different kind of for example, say I take a one layer only, and these different blocks they are basically one standard cells, na right? No, a standard cell. For example, in this there could be a buffer here. There could be a flip flop. So actually, here. it's not visible. So can you move to the different side because yeah. that window. is it visible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there could be a buffer here. There could be a flip flop here. There could be an inverter here. There could be A Y here. So there are so many cells here. These okay. Uh, okay. dark blue ones that I made, they are taps. So that is what I am saying. The spacing between these taps, these I mean, I have put yellow. I have started to show. The spacing between these taps. अरे यार इज सच दैट सो दिस वॉज अ टैप दिस वॉज अ टैप सो द स्पेसिंग इज सच दैट नो नो एक्टिव रीजन कैन बी कैन बी देयर विच हैज अज अस्टेंस ऑफ मोर देन थर्टी माइक्रॉन फ्रॉम द क्लोजेस्ट टैप सो विच एक्टिव रीजन सर इन ईच ऑफ दीज सेल्स देर इज सम एक्टिव ना Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So each actor will have some tap within thirty microns of it. So, sir, this basically the standard cell. They are sorry. This topology basically mm -hmm. we we are showing you. You are showing the standard cell rows here, right? Yeah, I am showing you a a a one thousand meter top level view of Earth. Let us say. Yeah. Okay. Yes. as you come closer you will see that the standard cell has these active regions in it yes sir but you will see them only when you come closer abhi itni dur se aapko khali ye dikh raha hai ki there are taps and there are these cells so there are yes, these sir. small small cells there aapko khali gharon ki boundaries dikh rahi hain but as you come closer you will be able to see even identify the cars that are parked outside the house yes sir you see google sir. maps na satellite maps in google Yeah. Yes, sir. So yeah, my yeah. question. So my question is also this: that for example, these are standard cell rows, right? Mm. And for example, once I have placed the standard cells in these different rows, then I am doing the tapping thing. Yes, you can do that, or you can actually fixate the taps first and then place the standard cells in there. So because right when we are doing it, so this was basically we are doing in placement. So after placement, the tapping will be done. You are saying yeah. during the placement, tapping taps will also be placed. Okay, after I have placed those in the standard cell rows, so but like in the layout we are doing with each kind of yeah. so yeah so that is so confusing. Every cell you will not make a tap now. Okay. So in this cell you are not making any tap. Have you made any tap? Have I shown any tap over here? No, sir. 
है ना ओके बिकॉज आई एम सेइंग दैट एट द सिस्टम लेवल आई एम टेकिंग केयर ऑफ इट यू डोंट बदर अबाउट इट एट द सेल लेवल लेट अस सेव एरिया ओके सो बेसिकली टाइपिंग थिंग हैपेंस ऑटोमेटिकली बाय द टूल इटसेल्फ सो यू विल हैव टू मेक अ स्टैंडर्ड सेल व्हिच इज टैप टाइप सो यू विल हैव टू मेक अ स्टैंडर्ड सेल जिसमें टैप बना होगा टैप फंक्शनलिटी होगी and the tool will place those taps at regular intervals yeah so but that standard cell i will get in the library format right so you will make that okay those libraries okay just like you're making this man gate or something over here similarly you will make this tap cell also so so this axis is so for example in this only this uh, in which you have shown the 12 track the height one this uh, diagram only so the tapping the 30 micron is basically the distance between the for example the active of this n mos and this tapping so for example like it happens yes. here for example so if you do that, this, can you show active, here so this active yeah the tap could be 10 cells away okay the tap the substrate connection for this n mos could be 10 cells away okay and it is still fine because it meets my drc requirement Okay, fine. But that has to happen for every active and active for every yeah. cell. Yeah. For no active, should the tap be farther than the DRC distance away? Okay. 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 So yeah. I have one question. Sir, uh, so there is still one question which is pending as of now. The question with, from which we started. Hmm? Yes. But sir. yeah, ask the question, Arimesh. Sir, this. Uh, sir, so. the one row is consisting of many standard cells right hmm one row yes one row has many standard cells in it yes, yes. and those standard cells uh, may consist of uh, uh, an entire unit like a flip flop or an adder something like that yes so this one row can have a uh, many sub rows of n mos and p mos Yeah, uh, is it something like that? Or one row can have only one row, one series of p mos and n mos. No, you can have another n mos right here below it. Provided you are meeting all the DRCs, you can have multiple rows of n moses. Okay, okay, sir. And sir, you have to meet the DRC. You cannot violate the height. Okay, sir. And sir, how are these uh, these rows separated from each other? They are not separated. They are they are abutting. that is where you will share the metals na that is where this vdd will be shared with the cell which is flipped and put on the top you you see this humne yahan pe dikhaya tha yahan pe humne ye baat kari thi na that there is this vdd then gnd then vdd then gnd so the boundaries of these carry vdd and gnd and they are shared across the top row and the bottom row okay okay uh, uh, between Sorry. two tabs there would be many standard cells so cell in that way i have to share the n well for that many number of uh, standard cell also yes n well so the template would be such that this n well will continue from the left to the right this n well will continue from left to the right So sir, that is why it is not advised to make uh, NP and PP parallel to each other vertically, right? Yes. अब समझ में आ गया तुम्हें, है ना? जी सर. Hmm. Uh, Animesh. Sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, wait. So now I also to... want the answer to my question, the first question. Where should yes, the sir. the drain, which which should be connected to output and which should be connected to VDD? Yeah, Animesh, please. Sorry. I was asking the same question. Acha, you are asking the same question. You don't have an answer yet. No, no, still not. Sir. Oh. Okay, Devjit. Sir, actually, had one question that uh, suppose the length of the row is three times the uh, size of the DRC for minimum length from where the strap is to be kept. So, if it is two times the DRC, then we can keep at keep at two ends. But if it is three times, then uh, in that case, what is done? You will put two straps. uh like you will uh how do you do i will show you so if the total length is 3 mm. 3x so what you will do you will put a strap here you will put a strap here x x x in fact uh, this can be x by 2 2x and x by 
Okay. Something like so that. Between, between two two rows, somehow we have to adjust the. Between two rows, name within a row, you will put it. Okay. So, so what is this strap he's talking about, Devji? The the N plus and P plus connections for the substrate. Taps. Taps are also called straps. Okay. Right. Multiple names. So see, we are all out to confuse you. Yeah. <laughs> we are all out to confuse you. So. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Ask, ask if you get confused. Yeah. So that is why it's important to attend the class. Yeah. So before going to the answer of the question, I also wanted to ask that till now the when you started the original question, the only factor the factor I was thinking about of the diffusion capacitance, right? But for example, in the MOSFET capacitance, when we're modeling it, we sort of three kind of capacitance. One was that from the gate to the either source of the drain. One from from the gate to the channel, and one from about the diffusion capacitance. So, like, so why we are not considering the gate to the channel capacitance or other two capacitance also? Hai. So, Raghav, that's what I have. Yeah, they so, so one when we, were, when we were comparing, sorry, when we were comparing this topology with this one original one that I had made, what did we say? We counted the number of gate to contact capacitances. We counted all the capacitances there. Yeah. Sab to kar rahe hain. Yes, sir. So, ah, but nahin. actually, so no. So one thing. So we have not talked about this uh, gate to the channel one in any mention. Yeah. Gate that to was... channel to. Look, gate to channel to gate region. Jitni WL hai, us pe depend karega hi na. Usko aap kaise kam kar sakte ho? Gate to channel capacitance to wahi rahegi. Gate ki capacitance. Gate to channel capacitance aap kaise kam kar sakte ho? Wo to jitna bada aapne device bana diya, utna bada hi chahiye. Layout mein aap thoda na decide kar sakte ho. I will reduce my device size. Okay, so that that is basically controlled by the specification that someone has given. Yeah, you. that as a designer, that as a designer, you saw that you want a five micron device or a seven micron device. How can at the layout stage you change that requirement? So, sir, uh, I, as of now, I can see that the as a designer, the most important that I control is the active region and the contacts. If I can share it, I can reduce the contacts. If I share it, we can reduce the diffusion capacitance. But only the active region I am considering it. For example. That is only mm -hmm. the thing that I'm. We are focusing on like most of the part time to yeah. control that. Okay, and in within this active region, the diffusion capacitance is the most important. That's why we're focusing on that. It seems to yeah. me right. Yeah. Okay, sir. So now tell me, this is my NAND gate wallet two devices, upper P MOSs and each end MOSs. And so which one should be ground? Which one should be? So this is uh, since we're just making a stick diagram corresponding to this one. So. This is ground, so I make a wire to ground over here, connected to ground, and this is my output. No, ulta, sorry. This is my ground because B connects to ground, and this is my output. Now, where should this metal one go? Should it go to this one or should it go to the boundary ones? Sir, middle one, sir. Why? Sir, uh, because sir, that's obvious, right? Sir, if we give to the leftmost connection, then we won't consider this rightmost. Uh, no, we saw now. We can connect it like this. So if I take it to this one, I will take the metal one and do it like this. Yes, sir. We can. I can do it. It is not obvious. It is not obvious because of that reason. What you are telling me, it could be obvious because of some sir, other reason. So side wall. Standard cell. I do not want uh, two VDD coming out. Why? I mean, from the standard cell I design, so I have to attach to the rail railing that is VDD going above yeah, there. Yeah, so, so I could make two connections. What's the big deal? So if I say that, I if I say that this is my output, then this will go to VDD. This will go to VDD. What's the big deal? There is a metal running here. What's the big deal of that? So the uh, side wall capacitance would play a role over here uh, because yes. uh, we need to connect uh, the input to the uh, contact that is in uh, that is between the two gates. Okay, so you're saying this is how you should make it. Yes, sir. Hmm? Is everyone agree in agreement with this? Yes, sir. I'm hmm? like so sir, What happens? Uh, yeah. Can we and I also think about signal integrity here uh, mm -hmm. because because this metal one is crossing P poly 
two times uh, there and here uh, we can also do it one time also okay so what does it that you really want anyways see what are these poly this is signal a this is signal b this is out so anyway if you even if you look at the schematic over here hmm if you look at the schematic over there you will see there is some coupling capacitance between b and out there is already something there yes sir. why is there something you tell me because a and out there is this drain capacitance there is this contact to poly capacitance everything is already there yes sir so aap keh rahe ho poly ke upar se do bar ek bar extra guzar gaya that will add some capacitance i am not saying it will not add any capacitance so there is already so much capacitance that they that a and y already have right sir so what is the big deal if you use this as the output what happens output capacitance reduces if you were using this as the output there would be extra drain and source capacitance that you would have to bear abhi aap 20 femtofarad ke load pe pareshan ho rahe ho you are adding more capacitance on the load then so that it, so addition is due to the side wall only that yes, that fact no, not just side wall we also did the calculation on uh, the area na so but we area said we are we are taking to be like the same no we calculated that this one this one would be 140 nanometer extension this one would be 140 nanometer extension so total extension will be 280 280 nanometer into wp over here the central area would be 160 into wp we calculated okay. this na huh? we so started with the assumption but i then gave you the exact calculation there is so less okay so we are considering two thing that one after the sharing the of the active regions then we are placing it midween so to to reduce that yes okay right see again in the lecture we progress i start with an assumption but then i clarified that assumption is invalid in fact when you do sharing you save area and when you save area you are also sharing source and drain uh, capacitances you are saving on that also so source and drain is a diffusion one right yes yeah okay so we have the answer to the first question where we started from and we did not even open one slide today yes yes sir theek hai but uh, i am happy that we discussed the layouts now when the layout part comes in the lecture of inverters we will just simply skim through it okay and abhi layouts ki baat karne se aapko fayda hai ki aap assignment mein you can use all this information to make your cells okay so for, uh, so for me it was the most interesting and also the most confusing class <laughs> so that is where we have the recording available you can go over it multiple times wherever you get confused you can go over it again that's the purpose of recording yes sir so it i am i yes so i am recording lectures now but i always record lectures even independent of whether we have online classes or offline classes and students have access to the recordings so that they can go over it again yeah yeah yes sir okay sir, sir uh, so sir we can take it as a rule that every time i share uh, two mosfets so i will uh, try to uh, tap out out uh, i mean output no doubt of it not not vdd uh no uh, so okay you can you again don't make it a rule this analysis is not too difficult is it yes sir it is straight simply do the analysis रूल की तरह क्यों वाई डू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट लाइक दैट देन यू विल मेक मिस्टेक्स सी आई ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गिव यू एन इंट्यूटिव फील ऑफ समथिंग हाँ बिकॉज इफ यू गेट द इंट्यूटिव फील यू कैन ऑलवेज डू द एनालिसिस अगेन एंड गेट टू द करेक्ट आंसर सो डोंट मेक रूल्स टू रट टू फाइव स्टफ डोंट डू दैट इट विल मेक योर लाइफ डिफिकल्ट ऐसे मत करो मिस्टेक्स देन सर so just yes. for a just for some kind of intuitive understanding can you give us for a sort of a difference between for example within a same say if i take cell that what is the order of difference between say gate to channel and the diffusion capacitance right how much they vary like because we understood that that diffusion capacitance is becoming the dominant factor 
in our layouts but like if i am considering for example just a design so what kind of difference i would see between the like gate to channel and the like diffusion capacitance that for example can does it have a number like how much or in which order do we differ like so why should i give you a number you extract yourself and you find it out and you tell me so i mean extraction may get the whole capacitance right Yes, we get the, but like uh, it doesn't give a break. Uh, it does it give a does it give a yes. breaking of that? Yeah. Okay, that I didn't observe. So, okay. for example, it will give you metal capacitance. It will give you so there are multiple files. So the first file it will make is a net file where it will give you all the different components of capacitances. Then it will merge those capacitances. So you go but, to that intermediate file and you will be able to get everything there. So that src dot net file. Yeah, you will get get to see everything there. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. चलिए. Uh, we had uh, no no slides today. Only uh, whiteboard. Hmm. But I hope that this learning you will be able to use. The lecture will be available. So I would say review it as you make the layouts. Okay. All the best, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. हेलो सर यस सर एक छोटा सा क्वेश्चन था वो रिगार्डिंग वीकली प्रोजेक्ट का रिलेटेड सर पूछ सकता हूँ या या सर एक्चुअली बंद नहीं करी है तो पूछ सकते हो हाँ हाँ सर सर एक्चुअली जो सिक्सटी मिली बोर्ड हम लोग थ्री हंड्रेड में बूस्ट कर रहे थे तो एक्चुअली वो हंड्रेड प्रोजेक्ट जब जाओ उसको अलग से देखते हैं